When you're talking to your veterinarian, a term that you'll hear bandied about a lot is life expectancy. But there's a distinction between gained life expectancy and um, life expectancy. And I'll have Dr. Dressler, first of all, uh, start off explaining that. Well, we should widen back in answering this question. It's a very good question because a guardian will want to ask, how much longer, doc? How much longer does my dog have? And we need to be very, very careful when we're uh, looking at these numbers because uh, it's simply because we have a median life expectancy or uh, for a certain given cancer in a certain patient at a, a certain stage, uh, many times those numbers need to be taken with a rather large grain of salt because they're from a large population of dogs and they're not necessarily going to be related to this particular pet. The second point that should be brought up is the difference between life expectancy and gain life expectancy. Now when we talk about life expectancy, we're saying, okay, this given cancer, this particular stage, all right, median survival time is so long after diagnosis. So that, that can be uh, uh, called the life expectancy. Now the gained life expectancy is kind of a, a, a new concept that uh, I've developed uh, for the book, and that is what is the life expectancy that we gain? In other words, we look at the untreated cancer, and then we look at the treated cancer for, with a given therapy and we say, okay, what's the difference between those two? And that's the gain life expectancy. And my belief is that that's actually a more useful uh, uh, number to look at or interval to look at when we're assessing whether or not to select a certain treatment. What do we get out of this if we compare the dog without the treatment, that life expectancy, versus the dog's life expectancy with the treatment? And that's the gained life expectancy. In the Dog Cancer Survival Guide, you help people figure out those equations once they have that data, those data points. Dr. Ettinger, what are your thoughts on the subject? I think a couple of things, you know, a lot of people, they are coming, they're not prepared for the, the statistics and the numbers that they might hear from an oncologist in the sense that, you know, if a human goes, you know, if a, with a human cancers, most of the survival times are reported in five year survival times and you have to re look at how long people live, you know, 70, 80, 90 years plus. And in veterinary oncology with dogs, we're often talking about one and two year survival times and that shocks a lot of people. And what I think is also really interesting, if I tell some owners that the average survival with treatment is 18 months or a year and a half, some people don't think that's worth treating. And I, some people will be happy to treat if they're gonna get four more months with their pet. So it's a very personal decision for the dog, the guardian and the, and the family. And I don't really think there's a wrong or right answer, but again, you know, different people are looking, have different expectations. And I think, again, we just have to put it in perspective on how long the dog will live with treatment, without treatment, and the overall guesstimate for what the lifespan is for that breed. Dr. Ettinger, thank you so much. You're in New York, Dr. Dressler in Hawaii. Thank you. Thank you both for being with us today. Thank, thank you. you.